What are some of the milestones in Middle Eastern arts over the last decade? I think uh, really Christie's opening an office here in the Gulf in 2005. Thereafter, May 2006, our first auction, which I'll always remember as to be one of the greatest milestones here because we did not expect as much uh, enthusiasm from local collectors and we had 680 people come in. Thereafter, I would say the introduction of our Dubai office in 2007. What is needed? What do you think this market still needs to further develop? Reference, still probably more books, more education. I think education is crucial, you know, passion comes with knowledge. Again, we're seeing this already develop in the region. We're seeing it with museums. Our children will probably really benefit of, it, of this and we'll really see the difference. More references, more catalog resumes, which limits, obviously, um, forgery, which is important for the art market. Which Middle Eastern artists are hot on the market right now? It's quite difficult to say, but I pick uh, Ayman Balbeki for Lebanese uh, contemporary art and Parviz Tanavali, who's the father of uh, modern sculpture in Iran and very much in demand in the market today. Since our opening here in 2006, a lot has changed. Um, I think that Dubai is definitely now on the map uh, and it's uh, the art hub for Middle Eastern art. Why is the Middle Eastern art market an important market? I think we have a large base of collectors here in the region and as we say here at Christie's for one dollar spent at Christie's Dubai they spent fifteen dollars in other auction houses so I think that um, the collectors base here is a very important factor. When it comes to modern art a lot of these artists during their lifetime in the 50s and 60s and 70s they had very limited places to showcase their art. It was mainly Beirut, Cairo, a little bit Damascus, Baghdad. The art existed in regional places, but it was not discovered by any international body. But today you have the whole world exhibiting for these artists, and it's fascinating to see the works of modern artists from the Arab world in international museums. And I think without this whole circle, Middle Eastern artists would not have a voice to, 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 to speak to the world, to the Western world. Which Middle Eastern artists would you advise our audiences to look out for? I would advise them to look into the works of people like Hadza Shafi, Safwan Dahul, Munir Farman Farmayan, Haif Kahraman, Yusuf Nabil as a photographer, Shireen Nashad. Are there any artists that you've really seen flourish over the past 10 years that you've kind of, kind of experienced the journey with them? Uh, again, for me, uh, what's really interesting is artists who are uh, perhaps uh, slightly older than the, the typical kind of rock star contemporary artists that, that the world venerates now, but are, are getting much more and more recognition, both in the market and institutionally. So, for instance, artists like Moni Farman Farmayan, Salwa Shuker, these are all artists that are um, at a ripe old age, but right now they're getting much more attention, uh, both from galleries and from museums and institutions, and that's really good to see. Is there anything different you feel this year, the 10th anniversary of Art Dubai? Well, it's definitely a signal that the market has come of age and the turnout and the attendance is fantastic. The plethora of events, there are so many events, which I think makes it feel like as if it's rivaling Art Basel. There is really genuinely good work coming out of the region. There has been a great impetus and support by the countries and the governments and there has been a great welcome by collectors all around the world for this market. It's been a very healthy start and the growth continues and it's a very promising future. The art market is a hungry beast as I call it and new products so to speak are welcome and arouse huge curiosity. So for that reason I think the entrance of certain Middle Eastern artists into the global contemporary art market has been very interesting to watch. Why is collecting art important? Well, as we see now, at the point where we are now valuing and appreciating the modernist artists, we see that in a sense artists record their own history in an odd sort of way, even if the artist is working in an abstract medium or portraiture or any other genre, um, artists tend to reflect the um, zeitgeist and, and what's happening at the time, the political feelings, the uh, social uh, preoccupations, and this means that artists are in their own way 
the visual historians of their time. And for that reason, collectors support that uh, development and support that mode of history, if you like. Collecting is actually extremely important, and art patronage has given us what today we have as, you know, the Renaissance.